hi guys uh, thanks again for visiting us at rs aquaculture do like and subscribe if you like our content so today we're just going to show you one of the uv light maintainers that you might have to do so previously uh, we have shown you the theory of operations we've shown you an animation of how this uv light actually works and how is it being constructed uh, by using glass sleeves and you just uh, and the glass is used to separate out the electrical connections from the water so one typical maintenance is replacement of uv light so that uh, that has to occur every 10 to 12 months another point of a probable failure is due to the electrical connections so what we've seen here is the oxidization of the electrical connections mainly soldered connections so solders tends to oxidize over time as you can see that the terminals uh, connecting to the light bulb has also sort of uh, oxidized as well so this is a good point the first thing the first check to to be checking all of the electrical connections to make sure they're all right and replace them accordingly so another probable location for failure it's the electronic a ballast that is used to power up the lamp so please note that the ballast that is being used for uv lights is not the same as those who are using the normal fluorescent light a failure to do so will just burn your ballast and you just have to replace so this is a couple of points for uv light maintenance we hope you enjoy this video and we hope to see you again